battle of molecular titans, Sarah Palin's plea for more oil and unplugging for Earth Day. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Wednesday, January 27th. Two molecular titans are battling for top atmospheric villain. Remember that ozone hole we fought so hard to mend? Now it turns out it's warming the planet. A new study reveals that the ozone hole produced brighter than usual clouds that shielded the Antarctic region from rapid global warming. Closing that hole may reverse this effect, accelerating warming in the southern hemisphere. The ozone hole, which permits harmful radiation to strike the Earth, was discovered above Antarctica in the mid-1980s, leading to a ban on CFCs. But now scientists are left with a potentially irreconcilable dilemma. Fox News contributor Sarah Palin is using Facebook to wax poetic about her love of oil. Citing Investor's Business Daily, Palin writes that America needs to ramp up domestic oil exploration. A 180 from former President George Bush who said America's ultimate goal was to move beyond a petroleum-based economy. Palin's Facebook statement entitled, Where's the Oil in Our National Energy Policy? ends with a call for Obama to increase domestic energy production in tonight's State of the Union address. And finally, home energy startup Power People just launched Unplug, an application which allows users to pledge to unplug devices for Earth Day, then calculates how much CO2 they and their friends will keep out of the atmosphere. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.